Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide here, and today we're going to talk about something that might be happening in Halo Infinite. Are we actually getting a real live event right now? Some things have been happening in the game. It's weird because we don't know if this is actually like, if it's glitching out or if it's a part of the narrative event. So we're going to get into that in the video. But first, I will ask you guys, if you enjoy Halo and you enjoy Halo content, make sure you throw a sub my way. We're grinding the 15k. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys make doing these videos and talking about Halo extremely worth it, so thank you all for that. But let's get into the video. So we all have seen, hopefully, the cutscenes for the Season 3 narrative event. And we see the little blast door, you know, get blown up by a grenade, showing the Oni symbol. And on the new map, we also see some weird red grid lines. That was there when I was in Charlotte for the HDS tournament. And I was like, what the heck is this? You know, like, is, is something wrong or is it part of the, the storytelling of the map? And it looks like it might be... In the last few days, we've seen that door on live fire change. In game, it has the Oni symbol. It's just like the little cutscene thing. But if you go up to it, you can start to hear weird things coming from behind there. People have glitched like out of the map or whatever to see what's behind the door. There's nothing behind the door in the map, but that doesn't mean that there's not storytelling going on. I'm going to put Alex G Music's Twitter clip up on the screen right now. Hopefully, you guys can hear what's going on. Jarisunder actually tweeted that the screens on the main menu where your Spartan stands actually have changed and they're showing that red and Eratus, you know, is red. So I think that there's probably something going on with those grids that we've seen on the maps where it's red and how it's spreading across the other maps and the sounds and, you know, just this world storytelling thing. And man, I'm going to be so sad if this is all because of Joe Staten and the storytelling and... This is what we could have expected going forward, and now that he's gone, I don't know. I'm going to be super sad, but hopefully this is just a sign of what's to come for Halo. I know that people have been pretty bummed about there not being campaign DLC, myself included. I definitely think the game needs that, but if this is the type of narrative storytelling, world building, live event stuff we can look forward to, you know, every three months, thank you. And we get two events. We get two cinematics this season. Maybe three, I guess, technically, maybe, this season. Um, and there's been rumors and leaks about what's coming next season, and I'm excited. I definitely feel like they've upped the production quality of these cinematic cutscenes. So, fingers crossed, this isn't just, like, some weird glitch, and this is actually something that's changing within the game. But let me know in the comments down below. Also, how are you feeling about Season 3 right now? I am going to do a Season 3 First Impressions video. Uh, I definitely want to keep getting more time in with the game. There's been some issues at launch, bugs and stuff like that. So, I'm seeing if they're able to put out a hot fix or, you know, update the game in a timely manner, and that will definitely factor into my little video that I'm going to make on my impressions. So, we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments how you feel. I appreciate all of you. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you around the ring. Peace!